Okay, cool. Okay, so I've got a test account. I'm going to do it in this one. A few auto sync. Test. Delete. Okay, so we start from scratch. Mm. And I open up Rhythmic as well. So I've got Rhythmic here. So I click on recent orders. Alright, hold on. Let me start from scratch too. I'm going to give you okay. So we've got Google Drive installed on the PC, and that's mm -hmm. a and yeah. that's a Google Drive. This one here, it's a standalone app. Mm -hmm. So once that's installed, let it let it all sync. So it's all syncing. So yours is probably syncing now if you've just installed the app. So it can take some time. Yeah, just installed it. Yeah. Okay, so I've got mine set up to export as CSV periodically, which we can do in a minute. But first, we do export as CSV. So it's created a, um, a, a default file name, but mine's called Rhythmic Apex Auto Export Trades. So I'm clicking on that and it's updated it down here, whatever you want to call it. Click save. So it's already there, so that's fine. And then so that has now exported all my recent trades today. And while I'm there, I might as well do periodically as well. So mine is set. So I browse to the same location, Google Drive, I've got Trade and Apex, click on the file you've just uploaded and save. And I've got mine set to daily at 10 o'clock in the UK. So that's an hour after the market closes every day. Okay. I found doing it daily okay. works better. And then, so I hit apply. So that's, that's all you need to do at that end. That's everything done now. All right, that's done. Yeah. So now you need to verify in your Google account. You've got that rhythmic file sitting there. So even though you see it on this window here, if you've got a, if you've got if you've got a sync queue, mine's all synced and ready to go. So my queue, look, you can see the last activity was that what's just updated. But if you look at yours, if yours is not uploaded there, then you'll probably see a big list of files, and yours will probably be way at the bottom of that list. But you could. Just for a test, drag it in and then replace existing file if, if you haven't got one there, it won't ask you that. So that's now on Google Drive, that's the important thing. So I'm going to split this window into two. And we're going to do that one. So trade viz on the left, Google Drive on the right. So we're going to set up a new auto sync connection. I'm using my test account. My broker is going to be rhythmic, so just select the first rhythmic, not the auto sync one. Oh, you don't get a choice there, but just double check. Aren't you supposed to use the Google? Yeah, you're no, you're quite right. I got confused. Then you're right. Google Drive. That's because that's what we're just doing. It. Yeah, thank you for that. In my mind, it didn't look quite right. Yes, Google Drive, and then we're going to create a connection. But one thing we do need to do, if you look at the instructions, so open up this link first. Down here is an email address where you've got to share. So this is the TradeVis G Drive Auto Sync. So copy and paste that one. Go into your Google Drive again, and then you want to share. So I've already added it in. Let's delete, um, and then you set it to viewer, and then copy link at the same time, and done. That's it. That's all we need to do on there. So now go back to here. Share link of import file. So paste that in. That's the Google Drive link we just did, the copy, share link, that one there. And set the broker. So this will be Rhythmic. And there's two options of Rhythmic. You've got API also. We don't want that. We want the normal one. 
rhythmic and then click connect so now it's now successfully linked to that file on Google Drive that. and now we can test it's working by clicking sync success I've just uploaded all the trades a minute ago so it says no new execution so that's you expect that but it's found duplicate duplicate I'm um a, i'm getting a um file format incorrect could not process file and you definitely use the recent orders yeah and not and not orders there's another one in there called oh you know what yeah okay <laughs> We can do this again. Yeah, it has to be recent orders. God damn it. All right, let me, uh, let me delete that file again. You don't even need to delete it. You can just overwrite it if you want to save it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I would do. So go to recent orders in Rhythmic. Click on export as CSV. Yeah, I'm there. I'm going to do that right now. Create a new file name or use the default one. Okay, and then I'm going to call it. Yeah. Man. Now you need to add that email address back to it again. So click share. Copy that email address. Add it as a personal access. Select it to viewer. Do what's wrong. It's yeah, it needs that. It's got to be the recent orders um, on Rhythmic. It won't accept any other files. It has to yeah. be that one. Because I did the same when I first started. I think I used, um, there's another one on there, isn't there called Orders. It's like Order History. Yeah, you can't use that one. Yeah, I think I used the All Orders one. Yeah. And that's probably clicking that. Why are you doing that? Uh, Tell me when you're ready to move on. I'm not putting, just putting that in there. Do you want me? And, and then I need to remove this link. Yeah, copy link, but it doesn't matter. If you hit done, you can just right click the file and then you can do copy link mm -hmm. there instead. Mm -hmm. so I'll create the connection at the same time. Next test. It's been working for you over and over again. For sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. Google Drive. So the link from here, share, copy link into this box. Yeah, so, I couldn't even get past that part. The the uh, the, what what you're doing right now, it would not it would not say success on that. One. Okay. Ooh, it worked, my man. Oh, good. File link successful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let me go and see if the trades are in there. Now click the sync button. If you click the sync button. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I clicked it. I clicked oh, it. did it say, I did you see a little box saying found five trades or whatever? Oh, I didn't even notice. 
Oh, okay, bottom right corner. Mm -hmm. Here we go. They're all there. All Brilliant. The there. there you go. So just I, that's why I always, I always go to the calendar then. Yeah, you're the man. You are the man. Good. I'm glad. So if you see them updated in the calendar, you know it's done. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, we already did the periodic one too, right? So. Yeah. So. Yeah. So make, did you use the same file name as earlier? Yeah. Yeah, so as long as you don't change the file name, you don't need to go back and change it. Okay, cool. So what time have you got? If you got yours to save, I should, I should make sure. I should make sure, though, right? Like, yeah, just have a quick minutes. check. Mine's set to yeah. save daily at ten p.m. UK time, which is five p.m. Eastern time. Yeah, I think minus minus five p.m. Eastern time. Because I think an hour. Because the reason I've got an hour after the market, because the futures market closes um, at at five p.m. I think so um so there's no reason you know you can do it like two minutes past five if you wanted to because you know you won't be trading at that point because your futures are closed for an hour right exactly and that's the reason i got mine sinking at 10 because i'll be out of all trades even if i'm trading post market by 10 o'clock anyway in fact apex will auto close it about two minutes or five minutes to 10 anyway mm. and then okay. that's it done awesome dude is that good? Um, when I when I do the periodically one, um, it it uh, it takes me to that Apex file, and then and then when I hit save, it says it already exists. That's fine. I want to replace it. Yeah, no, that's fine. Save periodically because um, it will overwrite it automatically every day. Okay. So save, and then do you want to replace okay. it? Yeah, and then you don't need to worry about that again because it will auto overwrite it. Okay. Person, dude, you Perfect. Did that in ten minutes. You did that in ten minutes, and I was on the freaking customer support for over an hour. Well, yeah, sometimes it's easier just to show you, isn't it, rather than try and explain by text. Hundred percent. There you go. Job done. And that's when I was just like, you know what? Because because then they were like, they were telling me that Apex doesn't do auto sync. They blocked all auto sync, and I was like, well, I got a friend that is able to like he's using the same exact thing i'm using rhythmic with apex and he's able to auto sync how's he able to do that and then so we were trying to figure that out me and customer service oh right like, not figure out what i was doing wrong and that is what i was doing wrong it's the recent order oh, okay yeah 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 see so i should they didn't even tell me that they didn't even tell me to go to the order do they not they were just they, they 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 were like you have to save you have to make rhythmic save to this specific file. You know, oh, right. Like, what is, yeah. So then I just went into the save settings and I, I was like, okay, save to this file. Yeah. And yeah, that obviously didn't work. Right? No, but that's how I've always done it. I'd, and um, yeah, and as you see, it works now. Brilliant. And you don't need, now at five o'clock every day, um, it will auto upload to um, Google Drive. So that's the Google Drive bit sorted. And then in your TradeViz account, um, I think it does an auto sync. It will do an auto sync twice a day, and you just look at last sync time, and that will show you um, when it was last synced. So, you know, if you want to do it, like for me, when I finish trading, I want to look at my trades as soon as I can, rather than wait until the next day. So I just do the manual, the rhythmic manual. Um, Export a CSV, so just instantly, just do that, and then yeah. I and then I just do come in here and just hit the sync button. I've synced already today, but yeah, yeah. and that's and that's how I can see straight away. Um, yeah, I can't think of any any down downsides to syncing it once a day. I was doing it periodically originally, syncing once every every half an hour. But I found it would overwrite the file when I didn't want to, so once a day. And now I know um, TradeViz only only synchronizes twice a day anyway. It doesn't really matter as long as you, as long as you get it in there after the market closes. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, stop man. this recording. I appreciate your help with that, man. That did not take long at all. No, it's it's quicker. It's easier for me to show you than it was for me to try and explain to you with screenshots and stuff. Yeah, 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 definitely Good. very, very helpful. Oh, no worries. Perfect. Yeah.